Although there are many aspects of Cappadocia in which we have touched upon in the past, mentioned its apparent incredible antiquity, and to some degree investigated and explored some hand-picked sections of this incredible site's numerous anomalous features. However, there also exists, although considerably lesser shared, an equally enigmatic yet seemingly additional hidden past. A fascinating area of study, which we feel requires far more in-depth study. Cappadocia is seemingly home to more than one very ancient, now lost civilizations, littered with seemingly prehistoric ruins, treasures of antiquity, invaluable in our ongoing attempts at understanding our distant past. During the following synopsis, we intend to put forward sufficient evidence to suggest that not just one advanced, now lost civilization once called this place home, but that the site was once home to more than one extremely ancient, yet extremely well-preserved legacies from what we recognize as ruins left by varying civilizations. We feel that due to the site's location, it has, predictably, yet we presume reluctantly, undergone substantial academic explorations, most possibly to create a permitted chronology, whether accurate or not, for the history of the site. With a rarely experienced buzz within mainstream circles, surrounding futile attempts accompanied with supposed explorations and explanations for many of these still visually stunning yet utterly puzzling sites. Anyone with an alternative opinion regarding the site, however, one we often conclude to be logical grounded, accompanied by many examples of incredible artistic abilities, comparatively impossible to have achieved with the tools accessible to the academically claimed builders. One often senses that many funded, obedient academics find themselves considerably out of their depth when it comes to producing a solid intellectual explanation for the many anomalies we highlight. Encountering almost impossible tasks in producing logical explanations for not only Cappadocia's almost inconceivably huge labyrinths of underground complexes, some so large they are classified as underground cities, each and all hewn direct from solid bedrocks, some to considerable depths, now understood to plummet hundreds of feet into the rock of Earth's mantle. The more impossible this task seems to become. The challenges involved in explaining, and most crucially demonstrating, how these mazes of tunnels and passageways were created and in addition secured. These ancient builders somehow, utilizing enormous rolling stones that modern man would find to be a considerable and extremely effective obstacle, once painstakingly carved, transported, and placed into their purpose-built ruts, somehow becoming a working blocking mechanism which, to this day, we still don't fully understand how they work them, or even manage to unravel any logical technique possibly once used to utilize these incredible blocking stones. However, as previously mentioned, it is not just these incredibly ancient underground labyrinths which make Cappadocia one of antiquity's least understood, yet clearly one of the most important ancient locations on Earth. There are many other parts of this enormous ancient wonder that many people are predictably little aware of, and the reason for this may soon become apparent. Although underground layers, such as that of Derinkuyu, have an appearance akin to the Neolithic Age, in other words, displaying the scars of relics which are unimaginably old, although located in the open air and at the mercy of the far more rapid erosion triggered by weathering the site and also displays sections which show advanced stone-cutting technologies absent the tunnels and was clearly created at a much more recent date, which, unlike the sites which display extremely ancient ages, namely the underground cities, are seemingly from a vastly different time in antiquity. Hopefully, as the evidence and knowledge regarding said sites grows, we will hopefully one day fully decipher the mysteries of not only Cappadocia, but our own past as a whole. It is a subject which we find highly compelling.